The year was 1949. That's when 30-year-old Billy Graham rose to national prominence. His Los Angeles crusade that year attracted 350,000 people in eight weeks. It turns out Graham received help from publisher William Randolph Hearst, who told his newspaper editors, Puff Graham, that also resulted in other media covering the crusade. The late 1940s was a time of great spiritual activity in North America. Graham was Southern Baptist, but other flavors of revivalism were also active, including the Latter Rain Revival and the healing ministries of Oral Roberts, Jack Coe, and William Branham. Traveling evangelists like Graham used to preach in tents. He dubbed the one from the Los Angeles Crusade the Canvas Cathedral with a Steeple of Light. Back then, it was customary for the preachers to get a good cut from the offerings. As his crowds grew, Graham got a little uneasy and switched to a different method. Several wealthy businessmen put the evangelist on salary, avoiding the appearance of fleecing the flock. Billy Graham was a bridge builder. He was one of the first well-known evangelists to break the color barrier, insisting on integrated seating. Graham even posted bond for Martin Luther King in 1963, after the civil rights leader was arrested during protests in Birmingham. The late evangelist also broke a theological barrier, separating evangelicals from Pentecostals by befriending Oral Roberts. A registered Democrat, Graham also befriended numerous U.S. presidents, starting with Harry Truman, but seemed to get along especially well with the Republicans. Fundamentalists have accused Graham of compromising by allowing liberal churchmen to be part of his crusades. Graham, however, had a different take. If he could get the lukewarm clergy to his meetings, they would hear the gospel. Let me ask you this. Remember when every McDonald's restaurant used to advertise the total number of burgers sold by the chain? I think the latest figure is over 300 billion. Well, the Billy Graham Evangelistic Association is also proud of its statistic. An estimated 3.2 million people have received Christ at the ministry's crusades. Right about now, I believe Billy Graham is hearing these words. Well done, my good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of your Lord. This is Steve Eastman reporting. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com. Thank you.